hello guys welcome back to a brand new video in this video i'm going to tell you about open cart so let's see we will be seeing the demo for uh, open cart and based on what we see we i'm going to give you the review for open cart so i hope that you enjoy this video i hope 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 <laughs> okay so let's get started with the video so this once is once you open the open cart website open the open cart website sounds too rhyming somewhat so you will see this free download and view demo once you, if you click on the free download you will get the setup for open cart where you can install that setup on your server anyways normally there are some quick install options in hosting services that they pro, which hosting services provide quick install options normally we go for that but here there is an optional free download in case you want to do it manually so let's click on view demo i'm hoping that there are going to be two types of demo one is for the administrator and one is for the storefront see i was right first we will see the administrative controls we'll get a walk around about the administrative controls or what can the administrator of the website see and what can't he see so let's see password is demo so just wait until the page loads loading 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 my internet is a little bit slow so please be patient <laughs> so i'm just pausing the video for now because it's loading so i have put in the username demo and the password demo so click login here we are in the admin panel so you see that the admin panel will provide you a world map now it looks like it's going to tell you from which places of the world the orders are taking place this is really amazing based on the ip address of the user the location is tracked it's really superb it's, this is seriously the first time i'm seeing all this like i never seen this on other platforms i have used presta shop and magento and all that stuff but that those were the older versions maybe in the newer versions it might be there but look at this it's really fantastic guys seriously fantastic now look at this analytics sales analytics really awesome yeah you can easily track whatever sales are going on on your website yeah we can see the total orders the total sales that have taken place the total customers on the website and the total people online let's scroll below and see what all is there here so here we see the recent activities like who was just logged in who was not logged in <laughs> then here you can see the latest orders so once there are orders placed on your website you can immediately send the stuff to the customer you, you don't have to wait much to know which orders are happening on your website so this was all for the dashboard section let's go to the next one here these are categories so categories uh what categories you have for your products there are your product can be an electronic product it can be a health related product where it can be web cameras scanners so here you can create all the categories in the world for your e-commerce store let's go to the product section here we have the list of all the products on your store here you can have filters for the products here there is an add new button and so on very easy to use here there is recurring profiles let's see what's and recurring profiles i'm not really aware about this seriously no idea filters again seriously no idea at all i'll have to read the documentation I'm just telling you based on without reading any documentation and all that stuff what a normal user should see here there are some attributes maybe a particular product can have some attributes like let's say a shirt but now there is a black variant and a gray color variant similarly for a iPhone you can have a black iPhone 6 or you can have a white iPhone 6 so here was the attribute you have can create attributes from here 
you have to define the attributes here and you are well to do you have to select it while creating the product i don't know which options are these just let us see i don't think these options are uh, very useful but let's go to the next one here there are some additional downloads list and all not at all so useful yet here, here you'll find some reviews now this is the name of the product this is the name of the author so people will give reviews for your products right so here automatically your list is going to be generated for what reviews the person has given so let's go to the last section that is the information here you will have to update the privacy policy the about us the terms and conditions for your website and so on here you will get a list of the modules that are there on your store so modules are just extensions for your store which will enhance the functionality for your store so you can have a payment gateway here we can see there is login with paypal so basically there is a carousel and all that stuff so basically what i'm trying to say is that um this is this open cart has a modular structure so now let's say if it has the head of the website so the head of the website will have a module for it so now the categories of, mo of modules you can see is account affiliate the amazon button the banner and all that stuff you can even see a google hangouts module in the module list so i'm just uh, avoiding the module section to avoid a bit confusion once you install themes on your website there will be a whole list of new modules now let's go here we can see the orders the recurring orders the returns customers gift vouchers and paypal so in case you are accepting payments using paypal here you will see the transaction ids and all that stuff you will able to search the transaction ids by the so you can these are all filters basically there is a search by date transaction buyers information and much more yeah there is an affiliate section that is built in so you don't need to use any third party affiliate services you can just use this and you're done with setting it up so here there are some people who have signed up for the affiliate marketing and they are here's the balance that they have earned the date that they have registered and so on let's go back so under localization here we see localization in under localization you, you can able to set the store location the language for your store the currencies whether it is a us currency or canadian currency asian currency or what not then the stock management then the order statuses returns zones and much more you can even set the taxes up so this, so this was most of the admin panel here you can create backups for your store and here you, if there are any errors on your store you can check it out over here again over here we see some sort of analytics sort of so this was all for the admin panel review we will move on to the front office